morning. I'm doing a quick update on my health and my liver. This is my attempt 583,000 <laughs> to do a video. I'm tired, I'm not feeling good, and I'm really trying. So thank you for hanging in there and loving and supporting me. And thank you so much, Lois. I got your comment and I thought, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Like people do care and they want to know. And I appreciate it so much. And I know I get tons of love and support on here, but it just, it was such a nice comment. Thank you. I appreciate it. And this is why I'm doing it because I got your comment and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to do a video. Um, I wanted to for a little while. I have just been, I don't even know how to explain it. Just not dead. I'm not dead. I'm just exhausted. And it's a different new kind of exhaustion. I think when you have a chronic illness or something, you know, different types of exhaustion. This one is a new one. <laughs> Mentally, I'm not a hundred percent or 50% maybe. <laughs> I'm there sometimes, but I, I said it before I missed the eloquence. My brain was a lot clearer, but I swear it's like all time is melting into each other. Like uh, my sister-in-law who I adore and I love her. I love her and my in-laws. I'm so blessed with that. Anyhow, I love them. Um, but she was visiting us and we had a great time. I loved every bit with her. And while she was here, it was when I started getting really nauseous and sick. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a bad batch of, you know, my drug. I don't know. But that's when I started getting pukey and yuck. And, um, I wasn't feeling good. But then someone asked me, when was your sister-in-law here? And I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I can't remember. All time is fading. All fading. Like yesterday was 10. It's like yesterday was 10 years ago. Everything is just melting. So, um, anyhow, that is kind of my time frame for everything. I don't know here or there or whatever. And I, I already have ADD or ADHD or whatever. Um, and I probably should be on a higher dose. I know that, but I, I don't like drugs, so I am on a low dose of um, Adderall, and the irony of it is um, it helps me sleep. <laughs> I know that's so weird. If I don't take it, I can't sleep very well because I'm all tossing and turning and thinking and doing. Um, when I do take it, I can nap like a queen. That's the huge difference is I get better sleep, um, and I do focus a bit better. Um, I could definitely use more, but I don't want to, so I'm happy with what I have. Anyway, that was like the brain thing. Anyway, brain going, obviously. Um, I am a napping fool. Currently, I feel like if there's like a napping contest, I would get a gold medal. Like, I literally, I've been, I described it to my sister the other day as, um, I feel like a fainting goat. Like, I'm really like a fainting goat. I, I'm doing stuff and all of a sudden it is as if my body just drains and I'm like, Ugh. and then it's like my batteries are out. I feel like on Harry Potter, when they suction the thing, right? That is how I'm feeling gone. And then I'm like, I, I, I do think fainting goat is the best one. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted. I am taking like three naps to five naps a day. I'll take a nap at night so I can wake up and do my nightly duties. It's just exhausting. I'm exhausted. It's a new kind of exhaustion. Um, what else is going on? Um, gosh, I've been eating more. I've been trying to take care of myself and I'm pretty proud of the eating. My stomach is still swollen. Um, <clears throat> all the time. Uh, I think with a big spleen, big liver, it's hard for your belly to feel like it can eat more and yet I have a fat protruding belly going on and I'm like but it's not my stomach <laughs> you know <laughs> so I went and saw um, my gastroenterologist and um, this is sad to say I hate to say it if you ask someone with a chronic illness like what are their symptoms or crap has been changing so extremely fast for me I, I can't help you like everything and then they're like are you in pain right now well at that absolute second no I'm not in pain 
of course I'm not in pain at that exact second, but that's what they write on their charts. Um, I feel like when they're doing the charting, like sometimes my oxygen is lower and then they'll wait till it goes a little different and then they'll be like, okay, or I've seen them rig the chest. It's just weird. So I, I just, I don't even bother with symptoms anymore. It's kind of rough. Anyway, so I'm feeling really weird, um, not great, and um, went to see the doctor. I said, you know, I just need some natural cure for the liver because, I don't know, I've not dealt with a liver before. And um, she said, you know, I can help you with the nausea. I can give you whatever medicine. I'm like, not one more medicine. I'm so over medicine. If there's a bad effect, I'll get it. No, <laughs> no, thank you. So um, she is actually going to talk to heptologist um it's a liver doctor and then they'll follow up i guess in the meantime my blood team okay so it sounds kind of weird saying blood team but i work with um i think the nurse practitioners uh leukemia and then i have the specialist mpn and they work together on my stuff so and lately i've seen more of the leukemia thing so anyhow that's kind of why i say that but um they're looking on the blood they are checking on other things so i'm going to quickly get to that every week now since i stopped the pegasus i've gone in getting my blood tested and every week my liver is getting worse what the heck? i'm tired i don't know i mean i don't know what i'm doing um i've not really had liver problems before my liver was elevated after i had my baby they gave me i can't remember whatever drugs my liver was up for a little bit. I stopped whatever drugs and we're all good. I'm not a good drug user. So that being said, um, I I don't know any other liver problems I could ever have. I already took my CBC yesterday, but then I came home and I had a message from the doctor and it was, hey, on your next CBC, we're gonna check for hepatitis. <laughs> I don't know, I've never had hepatitis. And I'm like, okay, I mean, whatever at this point, let's just rule out everything. I have been painting in the house, taking all the precautions, you know, covering like crazy, all of that. But I mean, if we're going to go for hepatitis, let's check everything, man. Like anyway, so, and so I wrote to her and said, can we check that? I mean, paint and paint removals and all those things, they do have some bad effects on you. So, I mean, I think... Um, in a, in a weird thing, I did Google hepatitis. Like, how am I getting hepatitis if I, I don't have it right now, right? Um, I think people can relate to the idea of you're getting tested for something if they're suspecting it. It's kind of like Schroding, Schrodinger's cat, where it's like you do and you don't have it. So I don't think I have hepatitis whatsoever. Um, but then I'm like, well, maybe I do, right? I don't think I do. Um, I did Google it, and here's the scary thing. They just had an outbreak of hepatitis from blackberries. Uh, Hello? That is scary. Like, what in the world? I don't think I have it. I really, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't, don't do anything really risky. Maybe it was risky and eat some blackberries. I don't know. But I don't think I have it. <laughs> I think of the options that are most likely, if it's not Pegasus, would be to check on paint, paint thinners. Um, I doubt it because my liver doctor went to poo like immediately on taking Pegasus and then it like calmed down and then it's gone and I've had so many like that rash. I've had all these things, you know, with it that it kind of, I mean, but God, then here's my frustration. If this isn't going to work for me, what else do I have? I can't even address that. So I'll be honest, during all this time, I have been going through a flip page book of all these like things in my mind like oh my god oh my gosh okay like do I have to plan for death do I have to plan for life what am I doing blah 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 everything in the world so I'm gonna just keep it on the liver right now <laughs> um I myself have started taking milk thistle I took it a couple times and then I felt weird like should I be doing anything but you know what no one else is like my doctors they are looking for hepatitis or what in the world blah 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 but I'm not getting any solutions or resolution or advice on how to care for this. I went into the one doctor and I got the, the option to have nausea medicine. I can deal with nausea. I'm cool. Like it's not the worst thing in the world. I've had a lot of stuff going on. Nausea is not a big problem. Um, she was sweet though. She had good intentions. 
but I want a solution to the main issue. Um, so I looked up things more natural. So I talked to the, the pharmacist person. I'm like, okay, can I take milk, milk thistle? And of course, you know, they're pharmacists. They'll give you information, but I don't put stuff on them. Like my health situation is unfair to put them on, right? I just ask a little, is it going to mix? And he, you know, it looks like the worst, it, it, you know, it's, it looks like it'll give you diarrhea and something else. I can't remember. I'm like, listen, diarrhea is not that bad comparison. <laughs> you know? So vomiting diarrhea, I, those, psh, you know, I can handle, I just want to get better. So kind of funny. Um, I'm starting, I've been taking the milk the thistle. I'm starting to do like one morning, one evening. I need to get healthy. I have things to do. I have a life to live. I don't know what to do. I am panicking. We'll go into that another time. It's in the morning and I don't want to freak out. And because it is in the morning, I could probably talk for a while. So I really need to just break it down for you. I've had really weird slobbering when I sleep, like more than I've ever had in my entire life. And I'm like, this is just too much. I was sweating to death, all these things. And when I did look up like liver issues, slobbering is a big deal, um, which is surprising. I, you know, didn't think of that one and, um, the sweating, the itching. So I'm having all sorts of weird things. It's surprising. It's an MPN thing too. And I've always had like a reddish tone rash thing, but it's gotten kind of like purpley reddish. And I guess that's part of it too. When I saw the doctor, um, she asked about the vomiting and nausea and I said, well, today I just swallowed some vomit. It's not a big deal. And she's like, and that is gross, but when you're used to it, you're used to it. So that's, you know, I'm getting headaches. Um, I'm having horrible sleep, horrible sleep, um, to the point where <laughs> the doctor called the other night or the morning that, okay. The nurse called the other morning and she's like, hi. And I'm like, Hey, how you doing? <laughs> it was like, seriously, you know, when you're so tired and delirious that like you're either chipper, grumpy, or like insane. I was like a mix, not so, so grumpy. I was just like insanely happy. Like, oh my God, I've had no sleep and I gotta do something anyway. Um, so <laughs> I'm not getting sleep. Another thing, um, well, because I have horrible pains on my sides, it's like almost like rock fires, like, um, say you had a rock, you burned it and then it started to cool down cause it wasn't on fire anymore, but it's and solid and painful. That's what it's like. Um, another is, uh, God, my brain, my brain. I think I probably told you, um, the, da, 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 da. I'm trying to think of all the things that are going on. Just a zillion. Um, I'm happy that I'm eating. I'm swollen as all get it. Swelling. I'm big fat swollen. Um, and I get the belly thing not super fun. Um, what was I going to say? Okay. So bear with me. My brain is skipping. Um, I can't remember if I said or not. I tried the 90 milligrams one time for, uh, the Pegasus. The doctors wrote to me and said, you know, when you get back on, you'll go back on 90. They've written to me since and said, no, you'd go back on 45. And now we're just kind of on a hold. Um, there's a bunch of things I, am. Um, exhausted and I've completely lost my brain right now. <laughs> I will come back and do the rest of the video in a little bit. Okay. I'm going to quickly try and f finish this and, um, send it out. So you have my update and anything else I'll remember later and I'll do another video for you. Um, I was going to tell you some random weirdness, um, carbon dioxide. Apparently I'm low on carbon dioxide. Who knew? Not me that you could be low on carbon dioxide. That's been a, an ongoing theme for me. Current me currently my AST and ALT are both high. Um, one number that has not moved for me for this entire time is the HCMC HC or something like that. That's always been the same. It is now going lower, which is weird that my iron's going down. Um, my whites have jumped, my reds, I think they're going up now. Um, anyway, carbon dioxide, what in the world? I hope you enjoyed the check-in. I, I am kind of losing my brain lately. This is one reason I haven't been doing videos. It's, it's getting rough. Um, I'm going to go back and take a nap again, be a little fainting goat over here and, um, 
Microsoft's news. So um, hopefully I can get it together and if there's anything updated, I'll give it to you. Thank you so much for your love and support. I need it. I need it. I'm freaking out otherwise. Um, mentally, emotionally, physically. What? Anyway, all sorts of stuff. Um, but there you go. I hope this is helpful. Have a great day. Enjoy every minute. Enjoy. <gasps> One thing really quick is I can't take any pills for my headaches and they're brutal. If you can take some ibuprofen or whatever it is, you take it and appreciate that liver of yours. I'm not taking the other because um, I'm just trying not to complicate the matter. Okay, 